warning for you tonight. And I got to say, this is the kind of thing that could turn your stomach. Many of you have been reaching out to help in the wake of Gabby Petito's death. But now cyber criminals are setting up fake accounts to prey on your generosity. News tells Kevin VC live in Gabby's hometown of Blue Point tonight with more on what you really do need to look out for. Kevin. And Rich, the Gabby Petito Foundation was formed to keep Gabby's name alive and to use her heartbreaking story to help others. But phony social media accounts are now claiming to be either from that foundation or to be one of Gabby's grieving family members, and they're trying to solicit donations. That's terrible. It's disgusting. That Blue Point residents family, say this is about as low as it gets. Scammers posing as the Gabby Petito Foundation or Gabby's father in an attempt to steal money from selfless donors. Uh, families trying to make a positive out of this terrible situation and here, you know, people are using it, you know, as a scam. It's terrible. Gabby's mother, Nicole Schmidt, wrote on Twitter, our Gabby Petito Foundation page has been restricted. This is most likely due to all the fake pages that have been made already. Please be aware of that and we will get this resolved. Meanwhile, someone says they were messaged by this fake Instagram account claiming to be Gabby's father, Joe Petito. The alleged scammer wrote, This account was created to appreciate you for all your efforts on my daughter. They then ask for a donation via Zelle, writing, Support the Foundation. We spoke over the phone with Petito family friend Jennifer McNamara, who has also been helping raise money in Gabby's name. It's reprehensible. People are at the hardest times in their lives right now, and on top of everything else that they're dealing with, they have to deal with people scamming. It's, it's horrifying. It's like a chilling effect for people that really want to give. Suffolk County Under Sheriff Stephen Keyhouse, a former prosecutor, says many of these scammers are likely overseas. He says you should watch for red flags like misspellings or improper English, as well as accounts with little to no followers. And if you're still unsure, go straight to the foundation's website. If you have that um, that feeling that there's something amiss, then it's then just do not go with it. It's a fraud. It's just incredible. What can you even say, Kevin? The payment service Zelle. Are they saying anything about this alleged scam? Yeah, they are rich. They said the person who's using Joe Petito's name will be blocked if they're found to be scamming other people. Meanwhile, it appears that the Twitter page for the Gabby Petito Foundation is now up, though they have not yet been verified. Rich, Marissa, 